People shouldn't pay attention no, too much to the act yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just telling people the character they created for the show. I'm petting you the whole time. It will become a weekly highlight for the sixth time. It's nice. YouTube. Never turn up, I've never passed. So, this was very new to me. I need to join Terry to clap. about any housemates that has been playing not just double standard but cispo standard to <laughs> multi-standard this guy's one i mean how can you come into a reality show like big brother and play different characters every single time like really get into people's heads and get out and still act innocent like look like hey he's an innocent guy like literally guys this housemates literally made gashwan the topic of the of the moment i mean he became the topic of the day <laughs> and i couldn't help but just concur with everything terry was saying like terry has always been like you get me angry Arr! like cash one hey he's post he's multiple men um personalities like seriously got a lot of people i in the house and if if there's anybody that he really got to it was terry uh-uh <laughs> okay okay guys um I'm going to say something in this video. I think this has me to cost it. They gave Gashon the full like platform. They just allowed him play with all of them in that house. Mm -mm. And I'm not gonna lie, I might be saying some things in this video that might get a lot of people upset. But anyways, I'm gonna be talking about it. You guys, welcome back to the Critics Corner, <laughs> Personality Highlights. My name is Judy Uche and here I talk you know, I analyze the Big Brother show from a very personal perspective. I'm sorry if that would get to anybody, but this is like my style of expressing myself. And guys, really, watching the Big Brother show has been one of my coping mechanisms. Watching reality shows has been my coping mechanisms. We're dealing with stress and all that. And basically, that's why I'm a big fan of reality shows. If you like reality shows, you like conversations or things like this, please hit on the red subscribe button right now so that you become a part of this growing community. And of course, don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that you'd always get a lot of my video every time I share new content in this channel. Guys, let me just play the way it was, um, how it went down. Like, literally, these guys woke up and they were having their breakfast and guys, suddenly, you know, Gashon started talking about himself and why he was reacting the way he was. And he, Gashon literally exposed himself to this housemate because he was the one that told him that he had a dual personality, that he was, you know, sometimes he just switches, sometimes he just says something trashy because maybe that's just the only way he feels like he's going to get the attention of this housemates. And basically, guys, when Gashon was saying this, <laughs> I couldn't afford not to laugh at how Terry was really, really reacting to this. He was like, yeah, you guys need to give, like, give me a round of applause for figuring this guy out, for pointing out these things that I had seen in him. I mean, Terry literally told Gashwan this. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Thank you and nice to meet you for the sixth time. I mean, guys, this guy has literally shown this guy six different personalities and I'm like, okay. I mean, I think I've seen a number of these um, personalities that he has shown. We've seen the flirting Gashwan. We've seen the Gashwan that is hyping alcohol. I cannot drink alcohol. We've seen the... But in all these things, somehow, I still feel this guy has really been himself in the show. With all these things, even though he's been trying so hard to fake it just to get noticed in the show, I think he has still been his authentic self. So, Gashwan literally was explaining his kind of person. He says he's this kind of person that has never been in the house when T Terry was really bashing on him. Like, why don't you give yourself the opportunity to get noticed so that we can adjust to who you are? And he's like... This is the first time, this is like an experiment for me. This is the first time I'm coming to sit around with a group. It's usually me. I mean, this guy has actually shared about him not celebrating his birthday, that even during his birthday, like his mom and sister goes out to celebrate on his behalf. So basically, he was just Gashwan explaining himself. At the point, guys, guys, Gashwan just literally had to just shut his mouth. <laughs> and you and, and Tato took over the stage. You know, the conversation was just all around Gashwan. And I'm like, hey, Gashwan. Gashwan! The way this guy is trending in the house is definitely going to be the way he's trending outside. I haven't really checked out the conversations on Twitter, but I know that this guy has been stealing the spotlights. Like, and... See, I'm not going to lie. This is one of the things I've talked about previously. I'm kind of upset that all the housemates give cash one. That's like they just gave him that freedom to just come and steal the spotlight. Like he has been very sneaky. Why hasn't everybody acted or done something differently? Why has everybody been so 
um, has been concentrating on trying to figure him out. Like he literally stole the game, and we saw this in his diary session. Like he's very the second week in his diary session, Gaston literally said he was going to show different sides of his personality, and we tried to see who figures him out. And literally, it's like three weeks away, like into the show, and maybe to the end of the show. And this guy is suddenly telling you guys, you know what? This is me. This is me. This is me. This is me. Just acting and being fake and just showing different sides of me. Some that are real, some that are not real. And literally, Gaston even told them that you know, you guys will never get to know the real me until we get out of the show. So <laughs> at this point, I think this like gives us a big question to ask. And my question is, really, for some of us who are really fans of this housemate, can we really say we know who this housemate really are? Like. When we look at these personalities in this house, like in this house right now, can we say we really know who is who? But I don't know. I feel like you can't really fake it in Biggie's house, no matter how much you try to fake it. I just feel like this guy was just trying to play a game in the house, you know, and he wasn't really faking it. I don't know. This is just my opinion. You guys are free to share your thoughts on how this whole, how you perceive Gaston's multiple personality. I, I would like you to guys to just tell me what you think. But I feel like um, all those housemates, this social experiment is a very lengthy one. That's why Big Brother doesn't run for a month. It runs for like two months, sometimes three months. And you know, it just is enough time for you to show who you really are. Because I feel like, you know, if it's like a very short program, there's no way we're going to know who this house meets. And literally, I mean, it was just Terry, like seriously hyping the whole thing. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys, literally before now, we had seen Temba actually expose his personality type. He was like, you know what, he's the 11th man strategist kind of person. He doesn't do what every other person is doing. He comes in and he steals the show. I mean, Guys, I just wanted to look at this thing more critically. Like, when we look at this housemates right now, right now, guys, let's just be very candid with ourselves. Who do you think has positioned himself for the game? Who do you think has played the game the way it should be played? Like, last night we heard about coping mechanism. Today we're hearing about Gasho saying, you know, one of his coping mechanisms is just to switch personalities to this person, to this other person. And we saw people like Sister Mara. So, my own question is, is this going to affect his relationship with the other housemates in the house? I know it's not going to affect his relationship with Tato, for example. But I'm looking at it. Is it going to affect the relationship he has with somebody like Terry? Because Terry might say, okay, you are, you're now suddenly becoming more open. So maybe let's become friends. Because, I mean, you guys, Terry and Gashon have not been friends. Terry has never hidden her feelings. I mean, we know that Terry has been a strategic player in this game. She knows what's up. She knows how to spot out who is faking what and who is doing the most. <laughs> so, I mean, literally, guys... When we look at all those housemates, who do you think is literally faking it? Like, is there really anybody that has been faking it in the Big Brother show? I mean, just look at it. Let me know in the comment section. But personally, I'm going to speak from my own perspective. I literally feel like no matter how much these housemates are trying to act like they're covering up their tracks or trying to change their personalities from this person to this person, I think um, the Big Brother show is um, so mentally thorough that none of the housemates can actually hide their personality. That's just my candid opinion. I feel Gashron doing this is just a playful Gashron showing multiple sides of him because he knows he's in the show. That's just what I think. I think that though, the other thing has changed. I mean, we understand her personality looking at how she has been playing the game. When we look at Venice, we know the same thing. It's just their personality. If I know the same thing, like, if we literally, Acacia, the same thing, like, seriously, guys, if we look at the housemates that have been in the show, out of the show, right still in the show, we'll still understand that no matter how much these guys try to act like they're acting for the camera, we still can't, um, we can't excuse the fact that they've been real and authentic. I mean, look at um, Mpo, for example, she, she doesn't hide her feelings, so she, she kind of does it. Um, you know, in her own style. Ntami doesn't, like, she's a verbal person. She said it. She's still who she is. So, like, me literally looking at it, I mean, whether these housemates are trying to fake you, trying to become too strategic about their game, which of these personalities is really your fan? Like, this is, like, one of the questions I want to ask. For me, I don't know. I just feel upset that this housemates allowed Gashon to steal the spotlights. Like, I haven't complained about this. Like, literally, in almost all my videos, I'm talking about one thing Gashon did, and it's like, <sighs> Who's going to notice this guy and do something? Do something. Somebody do something in that house. So that this guy does not, at the end of the day, steal away this 2 million grand with the way he's been acting. <laughs> Guys, let me know your thoughts on what I just shared. Um, does it resonate with you? Who, who's your favorite right now? Who is your favorite player in the house? Because they're all players. Um, let me know in the comment section, guys. I'll be back here with more updates on what's up in Biggie's show. Um, thank you so much for your watch time. I'll see you guys very soon.